Hello, I'm Ray Heron. This is my Yamaha Tenere 700, and this is my third video on luggage setups. But it's also the first video in a series that's going to come out over the next few weeks. Uh, I'm going on a moto camping trip. So I thought for the first video, I would show you the setup that I'm going with after I've shown you my Krieger luggage, I've shown you my commuting setup with the Ventura kit in the rack. Uh, I'll show you how I'm going to set up the bike for my uh, motor camping trip. I'm going to be carrying a tent, sleeping bag, uh, cooker, food, water, change of clothes, all that stuff. So um, let's set up the bike. Okay, first things first, this is the Ventura Evo rack. I'm not going to be using a Ventura Evo pack for this, but I am going to be using the rack with these Krieger tie downs that come with the US 20. More about that shortly. Let's get the Krieger U, uh, OS base and OS 12s on the bike. Now I've worked out that you don't need to take the OS 12s off the OS base all the time, especially if you park the bike somewhere secure. So uh, I just leave them on. As with the first video, we've got two pillion peg straps, one on either side. And then these massive Krieger lugs at the back, which we just put the tightening straps over. And that one's on. Pull to tighten. The OS base is on the bike. Now we're going to look at the US 20, which I'm going to carry all the camera gear and audio recording gear on. All right, US 20 on the bike. I'll just do these straps up so it makes life easier. Now this is a motor camping trip and I don't know if I'm going to uh, keep all the gear on the bike while I'm riding. Uh, we're going to be doing some pretty hardcore adventure stuff. So I'm moving everything far, as far back as possible, keeping the space so I can move back if I need to. All right, so we've got the OS base and OS 12s. We've got the US 20 here. On the back here is where I'm going to put my tent and my sleeping bag. This is my old, old, old two-man tent, still reasonably waterproof. That's going to go down first, roughly center. And uh, I haven't got one of these newfangled little sleeping bags, so I'm going to use this big one in a super heavy-duty PVC waterproof sack. And some trusty old bungee cords. And these are being hooked on to the Krieger tie downs that I put on there earlier. Now I haven't tested this tie down system. This might not be the best arrangement and there might be some modifications I have to make to it. But we'll see. We're always learning, right? All right, so we're a little bit wide, but we're not really any wider than the wing mirrors or the uh, handlebars on the tent here. The rack, we've already tested as solid as. That's not going anywhere. We've got the uh, Krieger US 20 and the OS 12s here. So we've got 42 liters of luggage that we can carry. And I reckon that's gonna be pretty solid. It gives me heaps of room to move back if I have to carry all my gear and get on the tough stuff. Although the plan is to, um, to set up the tent and the sleeping bag and kind of leave that at the campground that we're staying at and uh, only take what I need to take. I'm probably gonna ditch the US 20 and just carry the OS 12s, uh, some basic tools, spare tubes, and of course, camera and sound equipment. Okay, so this is uh, the, some of the gear that I'm taking. This isn't all the gear. I'm not, ta I'm not showing you my camera equipment or my recording stuff. Uh, and basic camping stuff I haven't included in here either. But uh, from the right, we've got a, a couple of tubes, one for the front, one for the rear. And beside that, I've got a ratchet, uh, a 27 mil socket, which is for the rear nut on the rear axle nut on Tenere 700 and a small extender. Uh, beside that, we've got a small uh, uh, power built tools um, socket set. That's got a, a six, an eight, a 10 and a 12, few others in there as well, and a few hexes and bits and pieces. You never know when you're gonna need it and that's a very handy kit to be taking. Uh, beside that, my Ryobi inflator. Uh, it's a digital inflator and battery. And further to the left, we've got uh, the Ryobi uh, lantern, which also has a USB socket on the side if I need to, uh, to charge anything. That five milliamp hour battery is huge too, so it shouldn't need charging throughout the entire trip. 
and I've got some battery banks um, that I'll be using. I've got a lock, a chain lock there, um, combination lock for locking the bike or if I need to lock any gear to the bike overnight. We've got some tire levers in case I need to replace that tube if it's gone flat. I've also got a puncture repair kit. Now this puncture repair kit uh, came from uh, eurobike.co.nz. Uh, you can get it from your local uh, motorbike stockist. It's for a tubed, uh, a non-tubed tire, a tubeless tire, but it's um, also got inside it inflation canisters, compressed air canisters, which could be handy for me if I need to inflate the tire in a hurry and I, my Ryobi uh, inflator doesn't work, or maybe I can use it for somebody else if they need it. I've got a 10 and a 12 mil uh, ratchet ring spanner and ring spanner there. Uh, those will be used generally for tightening or loosening my chain, but could be used for many other things. A uh, couple of sets of pliers, some cable ties, because you need cable ties. Cable ties are always what people are after. If you can't fix something with cable ties, you're not trying hard enough, I reckon. And a full Allen key set, because so much stuff on the Tenere 700 is put together with Allen keys. So that's just some of the, uh, the gear that I'll be taking with me on the trip. Uh, on top of this, I've got my little camp cooker, a tiny little cooker with cylinder. If I need to cook something up, a couple of um, billies, uh, some water, some food. So if we get stuck somewhere and I can't buy something from a cafe, I'm organized. Um, and there's a bunch of other stuff I haven't included, you know, GoPros and batteries and audio recording equipment and that sort of thing. Uh, any questions though, do chuck it up in the comments. I'm sure there's stuff I've forgotten, like uh, extra tie downs, uh, bungee cables. I'm probably gonna take a, uh, a long ratchet tie down in case I need to tow or be towed. Uh, things like that as well. So there we go, a pretty basic moto camping setup. I've got some uh, power up here in the way of the auxiliary uh, power socket that's factory on the Tenere 700. I'm gonna put uh, an adapter in there for a, um, a USB, charge power banks, charge cameras, charge phone. Got the, uh, the quad lock accessory up here to put my phone on so that can be charged and uh, tracking where we go. Down here, this is my Beeline navigation puck. Goes through my garage. This is my Beeline navigation puck. Uh, that'll be fully charged and will be set up with navigation. Tell me exactly where I need to go. Not that you can get lost in New Zealand, really. It's all kind of main road to main road sort of stuff. And that's pretty much us. A full tank of gas should get 300 k's on the open road and at least 200 uh, through the dirt. So that's my uh, my luggage setup for my moto camping expedition. Next episode, you're coming camping with me. We are going. We're going from here in Wellington up to uh, National Park area around uh, Mount Ruapehu. We're going to go check out some mountain roads. Depending on what the weather is doing, we're going to go do the 40 second traverse or the Forgotten World Highway, maybe some Kiwi Road action. Whatever happens, it's been quite wet here and it's forecast to be more wet. More wet, that's good English. More ghosts. It's forecast to be more wet around here, so um, who knows what is going to be in store for us, but I can guarantee you there's going to be some mud and some slippery stuff. So uh, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell if that's your thing. And I look forward to taking you on the journey. You can also search on any podcasting platform you like, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, for Kiwi Rider Podcast. There's more information on that. We're going to be doing the episodes live on Kiwi Rider Podcast. And you kind of get behind the scenes of what's going on. Uh, going to catch up with a few mates and it's going to be an epic trip. So uh, thanks very much for watching. See you next week.